Before the video starts, I wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody that showed up to the charity stream on Thursday. It was a big success. We had a lot of people show up for it and we met our donation goal of $100. I know the Eli Talley Foundation is going to be really, really excited about that donation from all of us. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for showing up and putting your money into this good charity. It, again, it's for children's research, like for cancer and stuff like that. So it's a really good cause. I'm probably going to be doing some more charity work like that sometime around Christmas time, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. I'll, I'll put some more information about that when, when we get closer to, to that time. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to say thank you before we started the video. All right, that's enough for me. Let's go to Zane from the past. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ziggity coming at you again with another video. Everybody that has been on the internet for longer than like 15 minutes knows about those people that quit their jobs and move to LA just because they want to make it big on YouTube or TikTok. And it rarely ever works out just because these people don't really know how to plan for things or have any strategy on how to grow their influence on social media. Usually you'll see a somewhat viral post with them in it and then they'll just kind of disappear into obscurity for a few months. I mean, I respect that they do want to become a social media influencer because, I, I mean, come on, I'm a content creator too. Nobody's going to lie and say that they don't want to be famous. I mean, everybody wants to be famous. The difference is 95% of us are not dumb enough to quit our jobs, move to LA with no friends, family, or connections there, and just like a spur of the moment decision and say, you know, I'm going to get to LA and I am going to make it big. I don't know how, but I will. Like you're never going to see me licking a subway seat and then jumping up and just going ziggity gang or doing any of that like cringe clout chasing stuff. So one of my roommates recently showed me a video where this guy was begging Logan Paul for a job. It was kind of a sad video just because the guy seemed kind of pathetic in his whole approach and everything. Like it sounded like he just didn't think it through all the way. Like what he was going to say or anything before he actually met Logan or he maybe just like panicked and was stumbling all over himself. So I kept seeing the video on like TikTok and Twitter and stuff. So I decided to look a little bit more into the guy. Just do a little bit of research because, you know, that's what we do. His name is actually Austin Wallace. He's a TikToker from Ohio and he used to be a welder making a hundred grand a year. That's a hundred grand a year as a welder at the age of 22. That's, that's a pretty good salary. I don't know many 22 year olds that are making a hundred K a year. So he had this great big idea that he wanted to do social media as a job, so he quit his welding job and drove 12 hours to see Logan Paul. It was at this press conference for Jake Paul's most recent fight against Tyron Woodley. He snuck on stage to go talk to Logan, so here's the video from his TikTok. No, I, no, I didn't. I'm, I quit my job. No, wait, I'm, 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 I'm I, interested. It's a story. I'm interested. It's a story. I, I quit my job legit two days ago. I came up here, took a risk. I'm originally from Ohio. Did you sneak up here? No, I didn't sneak in here. I, I didn't sneak. What do you mean sneak up? Like here? on on stage? Or you just like? Yes, I did. You one? Of, it's I one did. of the sneak I the sneak am, videos. I'm sorry. I, I just did you print the ticket and stuff? No, I just needed to talk to you. I, really, I'm trying to talk, talk to your about? brother. I'm trying to talk about business. Trying to talk about trying to get a job. Like I want to. I want to do media. I want to. I've do, been trying to. Get, what I have, are you good at? I was having dances. I did like What's that. Your I, did, I, I did that video, you know, like going oh, you, like that. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you know. Oh, so you really got what it takes. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Then why would I, I, I need a mentor. Well, why mentor. would I do that? I want to be. I want to be like. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I'm just trying. I bet. I can't be a mentor right now, right? In my life, I'm a fuck up myself. I need a mentor. You know what I'm saying? Like I need connections and you, you need people be no, you around you. No, right? no, I didn't have connections and people around. I have Jake. That's it. Do you have a brother? Do you have people? You, friends? I don't. I don't. Friends? You got. You got friends. You got. I don't. You don't have friends? I don't. I swear to God. I'm here by myself. I'm here by myself. Where are you from? I'm from Norwalk, Ohio. Bro, you're a good looking guy, bro. You have friends, bro. You're fucking lying. You have friends. <laughs> go, go make content. Do stuff with your friends. I'm glad you quit your job. It takes balls to do that, bro. But like now you got to act. Try to make a step. I'm not, media. But I'm not the guy directly, you're right? The, you're, def you're the guy. No, you're the bro, guy. No, bro. My team you is this. Relax, bro. Relax. I'm, I'm not the guy. Like, I, you know, life isn't about handouts. You know what I'm saying? I know. I'm you not trying work. to get a handout. I'm not trying to get what a What are you handout. trying to do? I'm trying to work hard I, for a little money. No money. I don't know. I can get a job somewhere else. All I want to move to LA. And I want to I want to be able to be part of that. Look, I have to go. If you really are serious about it, bro, you should move to LA and just like you approach me, start making connections with every single person in LA. I'm serious. That's I will. it. I've always said this. If you have, if you're charismatic and you can talk to someone, you can make it in LA. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's fine. 
So the first thing that Logan asked him was if he was doing one of those sneak videos. And that's one of those videos that people make where they will sneak into large events and like it just kind of as a prank or whatever. Like they'll print off tickets to sneak into a, a Tanamongu meetup or whatever. Or they'll dress up as construction workers and carry a ladder around so they can sneak into the Super Bowl. But that just kind of shows what kind of mindset Logan is always in and the kind of people that he's looking for if he's looking for someone to hire. His immediate response was, hey, is this part of a YouTube idea? But again, that's the kind of people Logan is looking for, though. The people that will take those golden opportunities to turn situations like that into YouTube content. To be fair, Austin did record parts of it and posted it on his YouTube channel as a vlog, so he is headed in the right direction when it comes to making content. He's already getting himself out there and producing content that's interesting. I mean, I don't really know many starting YouTubers that can make their first video about meeting Logan Paul and like actually having a, a viral conversation with him. So yeah, then he goes on and explains the whole deal about how he quit his job, drove all the way here to talk business with Logan and about social media. And then Logan asks him, what are you good at? So like this is, this is the key thing that Logan is looking for. If you have the skills that Logan needs right now, it's a done deal. You, get, you pretty much have a job. You don't have to go through any like official business stuff like you would with any normal job. As long as Logan says, yeah, you're in, you're pretty much in. So he starts talking about his TikTok stuff, and Logan says, oh, okay, so you got what it takes. And get this, this bozo says no. Okay, kids, settle down. Welcome to How to Bomb an Interview 101. There's three main rules that you guys need to follow when going through an interview. You need to think through your proposition that you're about to make to the person you want to be hired by. It needs to have some type of structure, or else it's just going to fall on its face and be terrible. Rule number two. If somebody says that you have the right stuff for the job, don't disagree with them and essentially say, no, nah, I'm not the guy you're looking for. And uh, rule number three, don't show up naked. That, other than that, you're probably golden. So then afterwards, Logan just goes, hey, well, then why would I need you for a job? Like, come on, dude. You had some semblance of a chance until you said that, no, nah, I don't have what it takes. Like, who in their, who in their right mind would hire somebody like that? Why? So then he tries to go for a different approach and kind of does this whole pity appeal thing to Logan. Like, oh, come on, man. I'm, I'm just a 22-year-old guy. Just I just lost my job, even though I just quit my job. So I'm just, I mean, I'm just trying to make an honest living. I'm just trying to pursue my dream and stuff like that. Come on, dude. Come on, just give me a job, man. Logan, you're Logan Paul. You can do whatever you want to, man. So I'm actually going to add a fourth rule class. Don't try and pity your way into a job. That won't work. Oh yeah, and then he uh, told Logan that he didn't have any friends. So, I don't really think I need to say anything else about that one. Logan did give him some pretty good advice on how he should continue pursuing his dream, though. I, I mean, it is pretty solid advice, and I would expect it to be, because it's Logan Paul. He has had massive success with his social media career. If you are going to try and pursue a social media career, you have to make the right connections, which is exactly what Logan told him to do. Austin also put out this video after the event, just kind of giving a rundown of everything that happened and kind of explaining his situation a little more thoroughly. So here's that clip too. Before I approached him, he was bragging about making $3 million. I make $100,000 a year. I'm 22. I do make 100000 That's cool. And I want to... I want to act. I want to. I want to do these things. <laughs> Let me break down right now. Oh, I'm sitting in the cast. I don't even know what to do. Like I did come up here by myself. I do have family, but we're not the closest, and I, I don't have really close friends. You know, there's millions of people trying to do what I'm trying to do. Just watch the clip, okay? Look, I, I respect the guy's courage and his commitment to his dream. I know social media can be kind of a hard thing to do and is a major, major commitment if you're going to take it seriously. Like, you have to be constantly working to improve your content and to make sure that you're doing all of the right things to make sure to keep a loyal fan base and all, all sorts of other stuff. Like you guys here on my YouTube channel and over on my Twitch see me for maybe about two and a half hours a week at most, just from YouTube videos and tweets and streams.
I probably put in double that amount of time off camera just doing some editing and doing research and just general channel stuff so social media is no easy thing to undertake I just think that he could have gone through it a whole lot better like I feel like he just didn't really think things through before getting on stage with Logan like it sounded like he just kind of went up there and was like you know what screw it I'm just gonna wing it if he really wants to pursue this dream I feel like he should probably do what Logan told him to do like that is golden advice from the person that is literally in the position that he wants to be in. He is super, super lucky that his TikTok encounter blew up and like right now has millions of views. That's exactly the kind of exposure that you need for a social media career. I saw on his YouTube that he'd been in contact with a few verified TikTokers that just kind of wanted to meet up and help him on his way. So there you go, dude. I mean, that's literally the kind of network that you want to have if you want to make it in social media. I, I really do. I hope that he uses this opportunity wisely and takes advantage of the fame that he has right now because that could immediately catapult him into the limelight. I guess that's really all I have for this video. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and go follow me on Twitch. I stream every Thursday from noon to 2 and I put out a video every week, so be on the lookout for both of those. I guess that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.